Here we are with Spoonie, no Antweiler, SpooniExperiment.com. First, I have to say, aside from being a big fan of your videos, how does it feel to be a big-time internet celebrity now? I don't know. Big, it, it's always really weird to describe myself as a celebrity, but uh, I certainly feel like a celebrity here because, like, you know, I came over here and everybody recognizes me. I, you know, I had this room packed full of people who are fans of my videos who are laughing at all my jokes. And really, you know, being on the internet and stuff like that, you very rarely get to see your fans and their reaction to what you do. You never really get to see personally, you know, people who are inspired by what you do, who laugh at what you do. So, like, I, this is the first time, like, really I've ever seen anyone laugh at my videos, you know? Like, it's kind of funny. Like, I see comments on my website all you know, saying this is really funny, but... To actually be in a room with people who are like entertained, it was it was really a, an amazing experience. Now, um, being a fan of yours, I follow you on Twitter and so on. And the whole wrestling thing has become almost a big. It's become a whole uh, thing of itself because it started with just you mocking the warrior and yeah. doing the whole special characters. But then now you did a whole running commentary of Raw and then TNA, and then you're doing this whole Twitter back and forth with TNA Dixie, Dixie Carter. Yeah. So, I mean, how, first off, why the run, Why did you start with the commentary? I grew up with wrestling. I used to watch it a lot. I don't know why, because you, know, you might think like, oh, you're too smart to like wrestling. I don't know why I liked it. I just I like to watch the goofy characters and stuff like that. And it's always been silly. But for some reason, it's fun to just kind of pick it apart. And, Oh, pardon me. Um, I don't really know why I watch it so much. It's 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 fun to just kind of rage against this stuff, you know. Um, and people have like the 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 comments have kind of been divided, positive and negative, towards the wrestling thing to the point where like some people don't like it, some people say I should do less. I'm actually thinking about splitting off the website to do kind of a kind of like a dedicated site to just the wrestling thing, so I can talk about that exclusively and not it's you know it's kind of separate from the other stuff I do. So, but yeah, I mean. Wrestling is just a funny business, man, because it's, it's, it, it kind of exists outside of logic, time, and space, you know. People behave like cartoon characters, but it's people, you know, so it's, 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 it's kind of this area of fiction that kind of fascinates me, especially the dynamic with how they interact with crowds and what crowds seem to like and dislike as time goes by, just the wacky stuff that goes on. But I'm sort of falling out with it as a fan-wise, and I kind of get the feeling you're kind of falling out with it, because it's just both... Both organizations are putting on a mediocre well, you, show. You know what it is. You know what it is that um, I've been falling out with it. I used to be a big WWF fan, and the problem with WWF, WWF has been they're trying to mainstream their product. More specifically, they're trying to make their project. They have made their project PG, which is really silly because you're talking about a program that's predicated entirely on the concept of two dudes hitting each other with chairs like trying to beat each other into unconsciousness and by definition that can't really be PG. So they try to lighten it up with a bunch of really bad comedy, really badly written sketches, celebrity guest hosts, and it's become all about the spectacle and less about the athleticism, you know, the the intensity, the emotion that was part of wrestling that got people really interested. And so it's like I said, it's become less of a pseudo legitimate sport and become a cartoon. So that I mean the, the whole tone has changed in the last 10 years. And that's what wrestling's become. So yeah, I think I've been, you know, you kind of you kind of fall in and out of love with wrestling as as, as it evolves. So, yeah. Now, uh, I want to talk about this because you uh, you won an award, 2009 Funniest yeah. Man to Follow, a, bit, a web award. You're up against like the South Critic and ABGN and other guys. And, and, and has that started already? The, the nominations? No, but you won it for 2009. Yeah, yeah. For but you're talking like oh, t for 10? Oh, no, yeah, but 10. I'm not sure when that happened. Okay. But 09, you won it. Yeah. And since you won it, though, I remember that there was a video that was up that was sort of like a oh. thank you, and then it was down. What happened? Um, the problem with that was um, it's it's kind of a personal matter, but the problem was uh, some of the comments that came down were, were less than courteous, I shall we say. And, um, you know, uh, I, I've been exposed to this for a really long time. I've seen pretty much the most ignorant, incoherent crap spewed my way. You know, haters gonna hate and stuff like that. So, you know, I've dealt with, people don't really mean it most of the time. Some people are just being like needlessly abusive and stuff like that. And when other people kind of get the mud fl flung in their face, they know that it's just internet t commentary and that they shouldn't take it so seriously, but nobody likes to be told these things. You know, like Nobody likes to be hated on. And so it's a, it takes a special kind of person who is 
able to kind of crush their own ego and like admit they have no shame and, and put up with that. Other people shouldn't have to put up with that. So I took it down because there was just a lot of bad comments coming around. Yeah, I, I, I totally understand. I had Lord Cat on my podcast and he was he was at the very beginning of where the hate was starting to come in for him. And he's just doing a funny little show on him, on himself. And here you are, uh, just thanking everybody and all the hate started happening there. So it was really a shame but I had to ask about it because it was one of those things I just wondered yeah, myself. Yeah, it's it, it's kind of it's kind of the culture, you know. It's there, there's a lot there's a lot of uh, security and anonymity on the internet that you can say whatever you want. But also there's I mean it's kind of a shield where people can just like say a lot of hateful things. And so that's why that's why I try to keep the community on my site very positive. Like, I don't like to spread, you know, like, ignorance and hate and stuff like that, so I don't tolerate any of that kind of talk. So, you know, we're here to have fun. We're here to talk about really bad games and, you know, make fun of Hate movies. on that. We're here to, you know, no, not hate. It's just we're here to have fun, you know. And so if you're not having fun, why are you here? So that's that's kind of the whole point. Of that. Exactly. Well, Spoonie, no, and wider. thank you very much. SpooniExperiment.com is the funniest man on the Internet. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thank you, sir.